Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a quick but really effective trick that you can do in Premiere Pro. And this trick is gonna allow you to add motion blur to any object or asset that you want. Um, so the trick here is that instead of manipulating the scale or the position here, um, up here in the regular effects, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add transform onto it. So to find transform, uh, you can search it right here in the effects tab, or you can go um, into the distort and it'll be under there. Go ahead and grab it and then throw it onto the asset that you want blurred. And then so now we're gonna make the manipulations of the asset in here. So for example, um, we can do position, scale, rotation, they all work with this trick. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab it, we're gonna bring it on over to here, and then go, let's go 15 frames forward. Yeah, that'll work. 15 frames forward, and we're gonna drag it to the other side. And if you see, right at the first, no motion blur, nothing at all. Um, just looks like you're literally just moving the object over. You're transforming it almost literally to the right here. So, to get this effect to work, we are going to just hit a simple button, and that is down here with Use Composition Shutter Angle. You're gonna uncheck that, and if you see right now, still nothing's happened. That's because you have to also increase the shutter angle on the bottom, and this actually acts as a slider to add motion blur. So if you go all the way to the right, you have intense motion blur, but if you go just a little bit, you start having that motion blur that you might see in After Effects. So right here, click it, and as you can see, we have some motion blur going on right here. Uh, manipulate this until you feel the motion blur that you want added to the scene. And just like that, you have motion blur added. And let me just show you really quickly, if I undo the position here, bring it back to wherever it stopped, and then um, actually let's bring it back to the center here. We're gonna go into scale now, and we're gonna start it at zero, go 15-ish frames forward, and go ahead and bring this up to 200%. And right here, you can see it is motion blurring right off the edges there. You increase it, you can see the motion blur just a little bit more. See, if we turn this check mark back on, no blur at all. It just really is just getting bigger. Now you turn the check back off. Turn the check back off. And you got your, oh, come on now. And you got yourself a little bit of motion blur on there. Really easy, really simple. Um, like I said, there isn't an explicit effect in Adobe Premiere for this. So this is a great trick to add motion blur whenever you need it. Um, to implement it within Adobe Premiere. Thanks everyone for this for joining me for this quick tutorial If you want to see more Adobe related content go ahead and hit that subscribe button If you have any questions post them below and I'll answer them and until next time guys see ya